Good morning, Cross Church family. Happy Saturday to you guys. Hope you've had a great week. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July celebration. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been together on a Saturday morning. We've got some scripture for you this morning. We've got some prayer for you this morning. Hopefully, we can all just get our week started off, get our weekend started off in just a tremendous, tremendous way. Well, I have to say I was fortunate enough to get to spend some time at the Jersey Shore this week with my family. And I'll tell you that the ocean and the beach is my absolute favorite place to be in the world. I just, uh, I love taking walks in the morning on the shoreline. I love swimming in the ocean. I love laying on the beach and, and listening to the waves crash. I love laying on the beach reading and listening to the breeze. Just uh, love standing out in front of the ocean and just looking at its expanse, looking at its its beauty and, and how powerful the waves are and just how it just goes on forever. And I have to say that when I'm at the ocean, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm closer to God while I'm there. And I certainly feel his power and feel his wonder and just some of the things that he has created for for us to enjoy and the cert, the ocean is certainly that for me. And that's what we're going to be talking about this morning and that is God's power and what it looks like in our lives sometime and and some of the characteristics of God's power in our life. The thing about it is um, we don't have to be standing at the edge of the ocean to see God's power. And that's where we're going to start this morning. The first bit of scripture that I have for you is 1 Chronicles 29, 11. And this is uh, one of David's prayers. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours yours lord is the kingdom you are exalted as head over all so just like david says here it's not just the ocean where we find god's power it's everywhere his majesty is everywhere his power can be found in a cup, cup of coffee and a sunrise Maybe in a child's laugh or a thunderstorm that comes rolling through the night. It's just all around us. The thing about God's power is it's not just all around us. There's just absolutely no limit to, it, to his power. That takes us to our next bit of scripture. It's going to be in Psalms 147 and verses 4 and 5. This is crazy when you think about it. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. That's just an incredible bit of reading right there. His understanding has no limit. His power is all around us. It's evident in everything. It has no limit. And the, another great thing about his power is that it is not affected by our weaknesses or our mistakes. And it's crazy how much we like to be in control of things, control of things around us. And we like to, we like to give our mistakes and our shortcomings too much credit and I'm talking to myself right now we we put our mistakes and our shortcomings our weaknesses on a pedestal and we think that it affects so many things around us maybe even affecting God's will in our life and that's absolutely false let's look at a conversation that Paul had with God in 2nd Corinthians 12 and verse 9 
Paul says, but he said to me, and this is the Lord saying to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses. This is Paul saying, therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Our mistakes do not hinder the fulfillment of God's will. Our weaknesses only allow God to reveal His perfect will for our life and His perfect plan in our life. God's power is evident all around us. It is has no limits. It is not affected by our mistakes. And it's even around us when we're silent. And that takes us to Exodus 14, verse 14. And this is Moses speaking. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. God's power is evident even when we're silent. Here again is us trying to control things. You know, we think we have to be doing something. We have to be making decisions. Uh, we're not listening to God. We think we're in control. And we think we can handle things for ourselves. But His power is evident when we're silent. And sometimes we need just to hush and be still. We need to be still. We need to listen to God. We need to calm ourselves down. You know, we need to spend some time in prayer with God. Spend some time in prayer with our families and with our brothers and sisters in Christ. So, God's power is all around us. It has no limit. It's not affected by our weaknesses. It's there even when we're silent. And there's a scripture in, in Matthew 28, 18, that, where I think God uh, sums this up quite well. This is after his resurrection, and he has met with some of his disciples, the, the disciples that are left, and some of them have doubted what's going on. And uh, Matthew 28, 18, Jesus says, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Thank God. Thank God that he's in control. Thank you for your power that you display in all our lives. Just, uh, I ask that we all spend some time being silent and just experiencing God's power around us and allowing God to work in our lives. Would you uh, bow your heads in prayer with me this morning? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for this time that we've been able to spend together. Lord, I thank you for your word, and I thank you for our, your power in our lives, Lord. And just, I ask that we would all just set back, Lord, and look at the small things and realize that that your power is evident in all, in everything, in our lives and everything around us. Just uh, keep us safe, Lord, and uh, just ask that you would be with our congregation and just uh, be with the service this coming Sunday. In your name we pray. One more thing before we go. If you guys watched Brandon's um, devotion here a couple weeks ago, he lost his glasses in the ocean. And I just wanted to say, look what washed up one morning when I was walking along the shore. Can't believe I found your, your glasses, Brandon. I'll bring them to you at church on Sunday. You guys have a great weekend.